Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras. It's Lori, and I am here to do a slightly different soulmate reading. I'm going to do a manifesting a soulmate, okay? So let's see um, how this goes. Let's start by rolling the zodiac die. These could be the signs of your new soulmate, okay? So we have strong Aquarius and Gemini, air energy. We have Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, all water energy. And then we have Libra, so all air, all water. All right, now that does not mean it absolutely is um, your soulmate is that sign, but um, they could have any of those aspects in their chart, okay? This is a general reading, and it may not resonate, will likely not resonate with everyone, okay? If you want a personal reading, I do have a couple of openings. All right, let's go ahead and start this reading. Um, if it resonates, go ahead and claim it. If it does not, leave it. Just leave it be, okay? There's no nothing wrong with leaving it for the person it's meant for. All right. I to feel the energy as I'm putting the cards out. I'm using the Disney um, Hocus Pocus tarot deck. And I will be retiring this as soon as Halloween is over, which is in four days. But I figured I'd go ahead and use it for today. All right. Let's go ahead and see. Um, this card will represent a soulmate that you can um, manifest into your life. Whoa. This is the High Priestess card here. Your soulmate is going to be very, very spiritual. Trusting of their intuition, connected to their higher power. They also are, are going to be very, very good with other people. They, they are intuitively understanding. Yeah, they definitely have connections. Oof. Wow. This person's going to be impressive. You're going to know it when you meet this person. All right. How can you vibrationally attract this person into your life? How can you bring your soulmate to you? Okay. Queen of Cups, you can open yourself up to being receptive. Okay. Queens are all about um, being receivers. Okay. They're very good at giving, but they're also very good at taking, receiving love, not taking, not forcing anything. Okay. They know that when they give love, they receive it. Very beautiful energy here. So be confident in, in love. Okay. If you are trying to manifest a, a soulmate, you need to be very clear about what it is you're looking for. And I'm not talking about a physical, um, description of what you want of the you know your soulmate that's fine too but what the important aspects of manifesting a soulmate is what you want out of that relationship okay so here is what you should do now we'll tell you how to be more receptive okay how can you be more receptive to bringing this person in the nine of swords this is telling me you need to pay attention to your dreams, your intuition. Those things that are, I'm hearing that your soulmate is reaching out to you through dreams. And you may actually have seen this person's face, this person. You may have actually had a, like a lucid dream where you actually participated in an activity such as, I'm seeing ice skating, um, surfing, Different activities. You, you've you done something in your sleep, um, in your dreams, you know what I'm saying, with this person. So being receptive to what your dreams are telling you, okay? Think about that. What what messages are coming through in your, in your sleep? Your intuition is speaking to you, your angels, your guides. Everybody's trying to get you... Um, prepared for this I, i'm getting a very strong sense that your soulmate is coming in very very quickly all right what is something about this person that you might not expect the two of swords and what i'm hearing here is that they work 
behind the scenes. So they're not like a public figure. They work for the public. Okay, so let's see how how is this meant to come out. Some of them are going to be people that work for justice, but behind the scenes. Advocates of some sort. Um, hmm. For others, this soulmate, and this is for just a couple of you, may be wearing blinders when it comes to love. Okay, so like um, they don't see the whole picture about what really is involved in love. They think with their head what love is. Okay, so I'm hearing that like... They may not really have experienced um, true, heartfelt, emotional love, okay? So I'm getting that th this connection is going to be deep. It is going to be very, very deep and very, very um, life-altering for both of you. Now, I'm getting that you're a little bit more, possibly a little bit more mature than the person coming in. And that can be emotional secure uh, maturity it can be in age physical age it can just be through experiences that you have so you may be young but you you've got what they call an old soul that has you know gone through many past lives all right <clears throat> let's see how you're going to meet this person the king of swords Ooh. so we got the two of swords with the king of swords um, this, you're going to meet this person in a, like at a lecture or some other place of learning, um, or where knowledge is imparted. So it could be a library. It could be a college school, um, a Ted talk, any place where there is knowledge shared. Okay. And your soulmate may actually be one of the person Introducing other people, okay? Again, I'm getting that they're more the behind-the-scenes person, okay? Even though they have high influence in whatever is happening. Yeah, okay. So uh, you will meet this person, your new soulmate, in a place where there is information exchanged. I was hearing something else about this. Oh, look at the light. It looks like it's right on the, the flame of the candle. <laughs> That's cool. Just from me holding the card. Um, I, okay, so what I'm hearing is that this person is involved in revealing information. Okay, so like they do the research, they may bring information forward into the light of day. I mean, we've got the king of swords there. That's pretty impressive. Very smart person. Okay, very intellectual person. Very educated. Um, and this could be street smarts. This could be book smarts. But since we're talking about meeting them in a place where information is exchanged, I'm getting a lot of higher education. Okay, really learned, really studied. They've, they've put their time in and know their business very well. Okay. Let's see what we have here. What will you think about them when you meet them? What, what What's going to be your first impression? Let's see if I can move these up just a little bit. All right, so your first impression of them, whoa, you're going to think the world of them. You are going to think, literally, the world of them. You're going to think that they're, like, the sun rises and sets on them. That they are the most awesome person that you have met. You th you see them as very wholesome, good, helpful, healing, um, a guidance. Beautiful. I mean, this is, this is, a, oh, wow. I'm really, you're going to know they're a soulmate immediately. 
I mean, you're just going to feel so connected to them. Just incredibly connected. All right. Hmm. What will you think about them? Yeah, the world rises and sets on this person to you. And they, I think a lot of people feel that way about this person. Okay. How will you know that this person is your um, <laughs> your soulmate? Okay. You got the six of pentacles here. Because you're going to feel really balanced. Like, normally when you meet somebody that you, like, really admire, you can start fumbling um, your thoughts, your words, so on and so forth. Not with this person. You're going to feel like it's back and forth. Like, you can communicate with each other very, very rapidly, quickly. You understand each other. There's nothing, like, you don't feel that they're above you. And you don't feel like they're you're above them. It feels very, very karmically right. Like it just feels right in your soul. And the Six of Pentacles is my karma card. Okay, so for it to feel that way, you will know this person. You will know them. I mean, as soon as you connect with this person, you are absolutely going to know that they are your new soulmate. And you're going to feel joy and happiness. You're going to feel really good, like you're really wrapped up with this person. In fact, I'm hearing that some of you may end up, okay, like I'm, I got a TED Talk, a lecture, um, something of that nature. And afterwards, you're going to want to talk to this person, but all of a sudden they walk up to you. It's going to, you're just going to start talking and you're going to be like, you're going to be the last ones there. Okay. You're just going to still be talking to each other and you're going to be like, Oh, it's what time? Oh my gosh. I just missed my flight. <laughs> and you don't care because you are enjoying your time with this person immensely. Okay. Th that's how you're going to know. All right. This right here is about understanding yourself in this relationship. And what I'm getting here is the page of cups here. Okay, so there is going to be a lot of emotion. Okay, but I'm hearing that you will receive a message from this person. An invitation, an invitation from this person. Yes, yes. You're going to get, they're going to reach out to you and invite you to do something. And it's going to be something different, something outside of your normal. Um, it may be outside your comfort zone, maybe not, you know, but it definitely will be something that you have never experienced before. So maybe they'll ask you to go skiing and you've never skied. Um, maybe they'll ask you to go surfing and you've never gone surfing. It, it doesn't matter what it is. They're going to ask you to do something that you have not experience before so there will be an invitation from your soulmate after you meet because they're going to be as, as smitten with you as you are with them okay <laughs> this is incredible all right let's go ahead and see what messages the kipper cards have for you <clears throat> this is a great reading like it if it's resonating claim it if it's yours boy i think whoever this is that's um, going to encounter this soulmate. You are, you two are just going to have so much fun. <clears throat> the connection is going to be so easy. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. I don't understand it either. It's got to be an allergy, and I haven't eaten yet today, so I don't think it's a food allergy. All right, let's go ahead and see what the Kipper card has for you an official person see i keep getting the sense that this person is like a person of importance works with the law works behind the scenes um has a lot of respect from the community okay definitely let's see what else the kipper cards have for you 22 Twos are about people coming together, okay? Again, bringing people together, a connectedness, um, a, 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 
again, like I said at the very beginning, they, they are connected to a lot of people. All right, let's see what else we've got going on here. Main female. You are going to be their main female. Look at how those two cards almost look the same. Look at that. I mean, yeah, she looks a little bit more serious and she a little bit more fun, younger and a little older. But I think that's the whole message here is that this person, and it's a two, 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 two. You're growing together. This is about experiencing life, connecting. Twos are about people coming together. This is definitely your soulmate. This is an awesome soulmate that you're going to manifest. Um, okay, so I've got a bunch of cards on the floor. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, and we got 22 here and 44 there. 22 and 23, moving in the right direction. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and we've got 12, another two, and then we've got 35, which is the anchor. Oh my gosh, all this came out. Okay, so this is putting things on a magnifying glass or um, <sighs> revealing things, okay? Being able to take a closer look, shedding light on um, situations, okay? That is your person. I am getting here, there may be a bit of gossip, a bit of chatter about the two of you because maybe you two are very different from each other, okay? Not what people would have expected, but as soon as you two come together, it's like lightning. Look at all the lightning, okay? There's a lot of light, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. All right, and I'm also seeing that this person will anchor you, that they are solid, dependable, reliable, okay? And with this card, too, I'm also getting the message that this is you, too, just hitting it off and talking and nonstop chatter, okay? You're just going to be connecting. There's going to be a lot of communication between the two of you. Very intelligent conversations, very happy conversations. This is really good energy, really good energy. All right, so we've got card 22, which is about choices, you know, people coming together, making decisions. Absolutely. This is also the Queen of Pentacles here, which talks about um, knowing your self-worth and feeling your self-worth, feeling respected by the other person. That is beautiful energy. So, this is incredible. So we have two, 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 two. <laughs> it's just crazy. And this one is about... Um, Normally, this card says to me, pay attention to the details because something's happening that you don't see. Um, what I'm really getting here is that this is going to be a diverse, unique in um, relationship. And that may be why the chatter, okay? Like, this is unexpected. It, 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 not the type of person you would normally be drawn to, okay? And that goes for both of you, both sides of it. And on the bottom of the deck, we do have card 42, which is the compass heading in a new direction. And four, we have four, 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 four. Okay, this is about longevity. We have the house here that talks about making a future with somebody. That's incredible. I'm absolutely loving this reading. Can you hear it in my voice? There is something really, like, I would love to have this relationship right here. Okay, yeah, I feel like I have butterflies in my stomach. Okay, relationship is evolving, okay? Awesome. This is definitely going to grow. Eh, I don't want to put that there. Let's put it up here. Let's see what else we've got. What other island time wellness cards do we have? Messages. Two more. Okay, we'll take that one. Take a chance, okay? Take a chance on this person. It's definitely going to be worth your time to take a chance with this person anything else here spirit from the island time wellness messages two more please the phoenix this is a new phase okay there's going to be growth there's going to be change there's going to be i mean this is going to bring in and usher in a beautiful new beginning for you 
This is really nice. I'm loving this. Let's see what potential um, things you may want to look out for. Okay. What things might be hidden that you don't see. Okay. There is uh, two cards here. There is sorrow over a loss. And that is on your person's part. So shortly after meeting, um, I do feel that they're going to reveal something to you. And it has to do with why they are who they are. Okay. And they're, you're just going to want to get back to the basics. Okay. So these are things to keep in mind that may come your way. Someone you know is undependable and sincere. And that's on your side. Somebody, like I I don't know if it was in this reading. No. Okay. And I'm just hearing that um, for you, like somebody's like saying things like, yeah, I'm happy for you, but they're really not. Okay. So they're not doing anything harmful to, to you or anything bad. They're just not truly sharing in your joy. Okay. And then we have chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Yeah, absolutely. This is a chain of events that is going to affect your life completely. And that's not always a bad thing. That's, that came out as a positive here. Okay. Let's see what positive aspects about this soulmate relationship. Wisdom, good advice from a wise person. All right, we've got a couple more cards here. So we have the hammock taking a vacation. Okay, so you guys may be going away together. Let's put that over here. Ring, a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. I'm getting that this is definitely a soulmate relationship and it's going to end it with a marriage. I mean, a commitment, okay? Not everyone wants to be married, but there is definitely an agreement here that you two are meant to spend time together you are happy when you're together. And that doesn't mean that you have to live together, okay? You may make a, a just a personal commitment to each other. All right, so what do we have here? Owl, good advice from a person. We already saw that, okay? Arrow, you are on the right path. I think I already said that with the, the numbers here regarding some aspect of your life, okay? So you definitely are on the right path here, my friends. Definitely on the right path. Let's get some angel answer oracle messages here. So if you would like to ask some questions of the angels, of your angels, of spirit, of whoever, okay, let's, um, you can do so. If you don't have any questions formed, go ahead and pause the video, start it back up when you've got your questions, or you can just take these messages as they resonate. All right, let's see what the first message is. Success. Absolutely, this relationship will end with success. Okay, it's a huge success. There's an exclamation point on that card. Whoa, there's all the rest of the answers. Okay. There's, okay, okay, all right. Okay, this is going to happen in perfect timing. Okay, this event is destined to happen wherever you're meant to meet, okay? You are going to meet them, and it's going to be just right. Now, what I'm hearing is, is this, there's a situation over here, okay? Someone you know is being, is undependable. There's something going on there, and I think you may want to confront them about something. Now's not the right time to do that. There will be a peaceful re resolution, and I'm hearing that it will just literally work itself out if you leave it alone. Okay? The angels are, are bringing things back together, clarifying things for your, your friend, your person, whoever it is. Okay? So you don't need to do anything there. Now, let's see if we can get your answers. I'm going to pull at least two more cards here. All right, remain positive, and you're ready, okay? Absolutely, you are ready. You're open and receptive to receiving. You are the queen of cups there. Twice, you're the main female. Man, this person is really going to be into you as much as you are into them. This is going to be a very balanced relationship. 
Yeah, this soulmate, I'm sensing that this soulmate is for life, okay? Not to come in and just teach you a lesson. Um, this person, the soulmate, no matter who they are, love, platonic, whatever, they are here to be in your life for the rest of your life, okay? Not just to teach you some lesson and, and move on. But I'm also saying that you're not going to spend every day together. You may talk on the phone every day. Okay, but physically, I see some of you going in different directions, doing different things. Okay, because I think both of your jobs require this. That's not for everyone. Okay, so if you are stationary, take it as it resonates. All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say here. I'm getting some really weird vibes here. Okay, they say flirt. There is a soulmate. New love, okay? There is definitely attraction here. This could be the one. There's a lot of passion. And it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love. That, that is incredible, okay? And look, on the bottom of the deck is engagement. I just put the other two cards that came out that were not meant for this mess. This particular soulmate reading, I put those back in the deck. Yes, I did. Absolutely. Let's see if we can get a time frame on when you may meet your new soulmate. I just looked up at the clock and it said 2626. So that would be eight and eight. That tells me you are both. If you turn ace on the side, side, it's the infinity symbol. Okay. You're both connected here. This is going to be an infinite loop. It is beautiful. This could be a twin flame that finally you are on the right um, level with okay I'm shuffling the months to see if there's any particular months of importance to this relationship wow that one really popped out January okay so something big could be coming in January that could be when you meet this person their birthday could be in January um it could be anything okay and keep in mind January is the first month so that's a one Okay, and I am getting January 11th for some reason. That is 111, doors opening, opportunities, portals, gateways. Okay, we have June, March and June, okay, as possible other <clears throat> months of importance. Let's see if we can get some physical attributes about your person. Okay, I said that there could be, you know, an older woman or growing older together. Okay, so there could be a fair man. That meaning a fair man is blonde, gray, white hair, paler skin, could have dark hair and pale skin, could have um, red hair, blonde hair. Okay, there could be a dark woman. Okay. Anything else here, Spirit, that you would like to share with us? There could be, okay, so this person could be fair, man or woman, okay? Fair skin. I think they're going to come in with um, opposite of what you are, is what I'm hearing. So if you happen to be dark skinned um, with fair hair, they're going to be just the opposite. They're going to have... Um, fair skin and dark hair. All right. So there's going to be some, um, what do you call it? Contrast, oppositions, differences. All right. I'm looking for something else here and I can't find it. Hmm. All right. I guess we're going to go with the letter die. See if we can get initials to names, places, whatever comes out, whatever comes to me. From spirit is what I, I call out, okay? All right, we got Jay, Jackie, John, um, India. In, in, okay, the, the country of India. But I also heard Indiana. Some of you may get in a cab, um, may need to take a cab to this place where you meet. 
Wild. Okay, so we will re-roll this, but let's see what we get from here. Germs. Your person may be a germophobic, or you might be a person that's very cautious about germs, spreading germs. This could be what they work in, okay? How they help people. How they're working behind the scenes. They could work in a lab. Um, they say that they are yours. Oh, once you meet... Yeah, they're literally in their head saying, I'm yours. I am yours. And they're not saying you are mine, you know, like possessive. They're surrendering to you. You, you enchant them. And I'm getting that you feel the same way that you're saying the same thing. Wow. Where have you been? I'm yours. You know, <laughs> I'm hearing do with me what you will, but um, yeah, I just heard the, the name Frank. And Fred, okay? I will re-roll that at the end. Georgina. Ground zero. Hiding. They may have a dog. Or you have a dog, okay? That may be important to the relationship. But they think you're fabulous. They really do. Let's see what else we've got. It rolled off the table. Some of you are going to meet this pe person almost immediately after seeing this um, message. Okay, I felt earlier it was going to happen pretty quick. Well, now we have J. So we have JJ. We have the letters in exactly the same layout on the die. Um, dice. So I am saying that for some of you, this is absolutely a twin flame soulmate relationship. Okay, you are mirroring each other you're doing exactly the same thing you have a spiritual connection you can finish each other's thoughts you don't even need to speak okay so these are the words that are coming out at me cc jj bb okay those are like names um i did hear bb gun so there may be a story here about a bb gun or something else along that line um Daniel, I'm hearing a very, I just saw the name Anita, but I was hearing Annabelle, An An Annabelle and Anastasia. No. Yeah, okay, we're going to have to leave it at that. It faded away. All right. Now we've got B, B, Bobby, a baby, okay? So, okay, again, dogs coming into this, okay? Um, but the dog or pet will be more of a child to this person, to you when you come together. Maybe that's what you do. Maybe you're older and you don't want to have kids. You'll adopt a dog or a pet, something along those, um, along those lines. But I see hubby. Um, I do see boy. Like, uh, how do I describe this? Oh, boy. Um, more like a saying versus a person. I, okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Patrick. Feline. And we have a you, okay, an upside down you. You feel turned upside down. You absolutely, this like, you're, you feel awesome, amazed, like your whole world just flipped. It's an awesome feeling, okay? And you, you are feeling very zen. You're feeling very connected and happy and alive, okay? Um, <laughs> talks, many, many talks, but I'm also hearing TED Talk again. TED Talk, okay? You're going to feel wild abandon with this person. There's a lot of wild energy on this on these dice. Just rolled similar letters here. Um, we've got Mrs. Ms. Slim, so they might be slim, okay? S could be one initial and T could be the other. Or M and K, okay, or SM 
and TK. Those may be initials there. I am seeing those very clearly as names with initials, okay? And you both may have a middle name that starts with the same letter. All right. I thought we had another wild. I guess I already rolled it. All right, my lovely, lovely Libras. And oh, I'm, yep, they do want me to give you an astrology message. Something for you to think about here. Something that you may not know, okay, that you may want to focus your attention on. Let's see what it is. Well, it's a bunch of cards. Can we just get one or two, please? Spirit, thank you. There we go. Oh, the sun came out in, what was it? The uplifting reading all about you. This is about expansion, self-expressing, being connected, embodying the truth of the reality of the world, okay? On the bottom of this deck is the is Aquarius, which is originality, philanthropy. I, I really have a strong sense of that. Um, and progressive imagining, okay? So like thinking outside of the box, doing things differently, seeing the world differently. I read the whole description for this in the uplifting reading all about you that is that's something about expressing through talk. I don't know if I'll keep that title or not, but um, expansion through talk. Anyways, look, I believe that was, let me check my schedule here. Yeah, it came out today, okay? So it is today's uplifting reading all about you. All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers and channel fans. I love you all to pieces until our energy crosses again. I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.